Hey everyone, it's Sophia here from Zen Guidance. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Libra's reading for the rest of October. So let's get started straight away with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus signs. So what's going on with you Libra for the month of October 2020? Okay, so we have the King of Cups in reverse. The Magician in reverse. Ten of Coins reversed. Okay, so what it's seeming like already is that someone is maybe being a bit manipulative or is playing games. Okay, I'm getting the sense of emotional instability here. So this could be your feelings, but it also could be somebody else's that you're dealing with. That there just seems to be a lack of feeling, a lack of heart in this either connection. You know, I am talking generally here, so this could be about a romantic connection, but it could be about friendship, work-related, career, family. But, you know, the fact that we have the figure here of the King of Cups reversed, it is showing that there is definitely something going on emotionally with you. And the fact that we have the Ten of Coins reversed, so we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy, Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio as well. But it could be any sign, all right? There's some instability and some ins insecurity at home as well is what I'm feeling here. Like there is something that you're just not feeling sure of. And I keep dropping all of the cards. Libra. <laughs> like, I haven't done this in any of the readings today, but I'm getting this nervous energy come through, like this nervous kind of, I don't know, feeling a little bit all over the place, feeling a bit unsure. So maybe that's how you're feeling right now. You're not feeling secure. You're not feeling safe. Yeah. Okay. What else is coming through for you? The devil. Yeah, there we go. So card of Capricorn. But this is definitely something that is either toxic that you're experiencing right now with a connection but it also could be toxic thoughts okay this is something that is this is an inner demon or an outer demon this is something maybe you're you're struggling to let go of like I'm struggling to get the words out of my mouth honestly I don't know what's going on with you Libra but I feel it like the anxiety is rising so much within me so yeah I think this is going to be a challenging month Okay, but obviously this is your month, you know, your, oh my God, see, oh my God, what is going on? What is going on for you? Okay. Definitely need to find some respite. Definitely need to find some chill space in your mind is what I'm feeling. Five of swords. Yeah, absolutely. Five of swords reverse. So all this air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but this is, I feel like there's maybe either one, more than one person involved in this connection if we're talking about a specific connection, I will look at love messages in a moment. But again, this I feel like these are inner demons. These are things that are not real. These are like fears that are within you. This isn't reality is what I'm getting, okay? Or someone is not giving you reality. They're not being honest, okay? Ace of coins, okay. Phew, <laughs> got something really positive there. So... That looks to be some kind of new offer, okay? So this could be a new work offer, but this could also be a windfall. This could be money coming in. I encourage you to write down um, in the comments an affirmation, money is flowing to me. You know, I accept this offer or whatever it might be because, you know, your words are vibrational and it helps to really make that manifestation stronger. So feel free to do that here. But either way, this is looking very positive. So this could be a new job offer, but this also could be a message. It could be a message from a person or a gift. Well, this could, you know, it's your birthday month as well. So this could be, you know, you receiving lots of gifts. So that's something positive. I'm just going to pull one more. I mean, that's weird as well because I've, in the, all the other readings, I've not pulled this many tarot. So, yeah, I just feel there's something staring within you, Libra, this month. Okay, Eight of Cups. So, I see you walking away from something or somebody walking away from you. Something that's definitely been holding you down and holding you back on an emotional level. Wow, Eight of Wands again. So, Eight may be relevant for you this month. Maybe something might culminate on the Eighth Wait, is it the 8th today? 
it's either the 8th or the 9th of October today, so I'm not sure, but it could, something could culminate within eight days. I feel like whatever is happening, it's going to be moving quickly. So I feel like something is shifting. It's like, I, I feel like almost something is being thrown in, almost like I see like a grenade being thrown in, it goes kaboom, and then you walk away. So there could be something kind of big that happens here, some kind of disturbance. But it also could be like, I just feel like something's going to move in and move out quickly. So just be aware of that energy. It seems to be kind of flip floppy. So let's pull some oracles now for you. Let's see what's coming through for you, Libra, this month. Oh, God. See, I can't keep hold of them. Spirit Keeper of the North. Yeah, so, you know, North represent, rep, represents air. So this is definitely a time when you're going to be up in your head quite a lot. Like your mind seems to be racing, seems to be going all over the place. And I feel like you need some grounding this month, Libra. I really do for advice. I'd say you need to try and ground yourself, connect yourself to the Earth's energy and focus on your stability and security because I, I feel like your mind is it's just not in the healthiest place right now. And there may be some other factors here that are causing that. But I feel like this will pass. This is going to pass for you. So just know that. I feel like as quickly as it comes in, it's going to finish just as quickly, whatever this energy is. Yeah, what did I just say? Grounding, nature, connect with the earth, connect with nature, go for a walk in nature, connect with animals, do something that is going to be, I don't know, just grounding. I can't think of another word, but something that's going to bring you back down to earth where it's really focusing maybe on your health. Okay. This can be a rife time for health, ignoring the obvious, but there could be, you know, other things. It's, I mean, a prime time to get colds, depending on where you are in the world, of course, but here in the UK, you know, it's, uh, this is a, prime time to be getting, you know, colds and things like that. So it might be a sense that you need to take care of yourself, a little bit of self-care, a little bit of self-love, gathering your tribe, being around the people that you really care about. Okay. I think that that's something that you need here too, because especially if you've been dealing with this energy here, if this is an external person or this is inner demons, whatever it might be, I feel like you just need the people that you love, the people that have been loyal to you, that have been there for you all of your life, or it doesn't matter how long they've been in your life, but just people that you know that can support you, okay, and that are here, that are really here for you, and they can help guide you through these times, and even just being a shoulder to cry on, you know, okay, oh yeah, we're not pulling the romance angels yet, these are the ones I dropped, by the way, they're all completely mixed up when I first started the reading, so <laughs> I promise I'm not usually this scattered, if you watch any of the other readings, they're pretty okay, I don't, it's just, yeah, it's just your energy I'm feeling like, but it's also, I'm Libra rising, so uh, this could be affecting me <laughs> in that respect. Okay, so North Node we have here. Okay, nothing will come of this situation, avoid of course Moon. The energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. Okay. So, with the North Node being here, this is showing that you are reaching like towards your destiny. This is your destiny. I mean, I'm not sure, you know, depending on where your North Node lies, I'm not sure if you're aware of that, but if you're not, it's really interesting. So just look it up. You know, you can do your natal chart on Cafe Astrology or any of the other ones, and you can find out what your North Node is. and. By knowing that, you'll know what your destiny in life is. You know, your south node is the issues that you've had to deal with in a past life, but the north node is, you know, where you're headed. So that can help give you a bit of direction. If you are in a place of not be really being sure what you want or what you need right now, looking at that north node placement might be helpful. If you do know your north node, maybe just do a little bit more research or a little bit more digging, you know, digging deep within your side yourself to know, you know, are you on the path? Are you on that path? And I feel like you are, regardless of what you're going through and how you're feeling. There's a divine reason why this is all occurring for you in this time. So with nothing, uh, nothing will come of this situation, void of course moon, I feel like you know this. You know what I'm talking about here. There is something here that maybe you've been putting too much energy into, whether that's physical energy, but I feel more so it's mental energy. Your mental energy has been so focused in this place that you know deep down is not going to serve you and it's not it's not going anywhere. And I'm sorry to say it so bluntly, but I just have to say it like it is, okay? 
So take that if it resonates, leave it if it doesn't. But I just feel like you need to be putting your energy and your focus into something you know, that is aligned with your destiny, which is aligned with what you really want in your life, okay? And with the energy is gaining momentum, I feel like, yeah, this whole situation. So again, if you're feeling like, oh, I, I just want this to hurry up and change, or I'm ready for a new start, or I'm ready to let this go, or whatever it might be, I'm ready to be in a more calm and relaxed place in my mind. I feel like it because it is gaining momentum and I feel like it is going to come to a culmination and that I swear to God is my favorite word of the, of the day, <laughs> culmination, because that's what I feel it's the, the vibe because all of the sign readings will always follow, that there will always be one link, I feel, to all of them that will link at each sign. Um, but that's because we have all of the signs within our chart, you know, placed somewhere. It just depends, you know, how strongly, strongly they're afflicting or affecting us at the specific moment. Um, but there's always some kind of link. And I feel like the link here with October for everybody is, you know, the situations that you've been going through, it's, you know, they you're going to have some kind of finalization by the end of the month, like something's going to happen, whether you actually get that conclusion by the end of the month, by the 31st of October, or whether, you know, something takes place around that date that then leads that to something happening and to you knowing what's really going on or w which direction you want to go, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to look now at love. attraction you attract love by enjoying this moment and I, I don't know because when they all fell out this was the one on the top this was one it was staring at me so I knew it was going to come out again so yeah attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so yeah this is again all about you being present being in the present moment not worrying too much about the future or or thinking too much about what's not real. Again, what's not reality. Maybe you've been living in a bit of a fantasy world. Whether that's a positive one or a negative one, it's still not been based in reality. And sometimes you need that escapism, and I get that. But there, I feel like maybe you've been escaping for too long, and it's time to ground. It's time to come back down. Time to root yourself. Okay. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help to bring you together. Okay, so... I'm just going to pull one more. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay, so talking specifically on love now, I feel like we've got some different vibes and different stories here, which of course we're going to have. So I feel that if you are in a relationship that and you feel like it is, like you're just waiting for something to happen, maybe you're waiting for it to be, I don't know, committed, maybe to move in together, maybe for some of you it will be a proposal, you know, it's come out, so I'm going to say it, and it, again, it's a manifestation, affirmation, you know, you could be getting proposed to, could be getting married, or you could just be getting more serious with someone, like I feel like a relationship is going to be leveling up um, to a higher level of commitment, okay, so for some of you, yeah, that's certainly going to be happening, and I feel like the only way that that's going to happen is by you being okay with the now, being grateful for how it is at this moment, you know, because that's the, always the first thing we need to do is be grateful for where it is, okay? And if you're not happy about where it is, then it's time for you to move on. It's time for you to walk away with your emotions, okay? So it's definitely going to be one way or the other, I feel like, and I'm not going to say, yes, it's this way and yes, it's that way, because no, I'm seeing more than one way. It is dependent upon your situation, and I feel like that's something that you just have to find out and uncover for yourself, but it will be revealed to you. I will say that I do feel very strongly that it's going to be revealed very soon, so whether this is, again, you coming together and ascending to a high level of commitment, but I also feel like for some of you that are walking away from a situation that you're walking towards your soulmate. You're walking towards the person you're meant to be with. You've been calling them in. Maybe you have been visualizing them. Maybe you had a vision board. Maybe you had a list about the certain attributes and things that you'd like in a person. And I feel like if this situation has not been serving you, it's time to release it. It's time to sever those ties so you can create space in your life and in your heart for your soulmate to come in. Because if you're still tangled up in something else that isn't going anywhere, then you're just it's just longer that you're going to have to wait. And that's okay. Maybe you need to experience what this is. Maybe you need to go through this and you need to evolve through the pain, potentially of losing this person. But I feel this is, 
kind of detrimental to your mind and not kind of I feel like it's very I feel like your mind is not in the best of places right now and that might be something that you just need a break maybe you end up coming back together but you need a break right now so you can get to a healthier state of mind okay let's see what else is coming through be honest Avoid this energy. Luck is coming. Use your intuition. That one's come out quite a lot. Oh, I think it was, or it was one very similar. So yeah, luck is coming. Be honest, avoid this energy. Use your intuition, absolutely. You need to avoid the energy, that negative energy in your mind, as I said, because that, again, that has been such a factor today. I do feel like people's mental health is um, struggling more so. Um, and probably again, you know, I feel like a parrot, but again, if, and only unless you've been watching all the other readings, but I've been saying about Mercury, which is now in Scorpio, it will retrograde back into Libra for a short time and then it will come back into Scorpio. So yeah, it's gonna be a tough couple of months here, I feel like when it comes to your mind, when it comes to communication, when it comes to the things that we're seeing, there's gonna be a lot of transformation and that's what Scorpio does, transforms everything. Um, you know, brings things up, it's rebirth, regeneration. It deals with the issues that you don't wanna deal with. It deals with the non-surface level stuff. It deals with the deep stuff. So. There's a reason, again, why you're going through all of, all of this. And I feel like what's coming through is that you need to be more honest with yourself about what is this connection? How do you really feel about it? Like, be honest, like, how do they, how are they treating you? How are you just feeling on a day-to-day -day basis in this connection? Is it what you want? Okay, if we're talking about career, same thing. Same thing applies, career, family, friends. How are you feeling in this situation? Okay, and if it's something that you're able to change, okay, you might not be able to change it today, but you can make those steps to change it for the future. You know, you don't have to stay stuck in a situation. You can always find a way around things. And that's something I think that you're really good at anyway, Libra, is because you're good at weighing things up, trying to level things out, balance things, making sure that you have balance in every way. And you can be really great in relationships. But then sometimes I feel like if the scales tip too far in one direction, you know, either your eyes can be somewhere else or onto something else and not really dealing with the root of the problem, being too up in your mind like the air sign that you are, you know, but there's a lot of skill because you're very intellectual and you've got a lot of thoughts and you've got a eye, keen eye for beautiful things and you've got a lot of talent naturally with inside you. And I feel like this is where the luck is coming in as well and using your intuition because I feel like maybe you've been getting some signs recently. You may have been seeing certain colors or seeing names, hearing names, uh, place names, people's names or whatever you feel like is just coming through, even seeing animals, birds, squirrels, I don't know, I'm just saying this because I've been seeing those recently. But, you know, there are signs that are coming through here that you just need to listen to, okay? All you need to do is take note. Oh yeah, I did see that, mm hmm Okay, just mental note them. And then they'll all start to tally up. And when you realize they'll all come together and that's where I feel like there will be a word of the day culmination where everything comes together and you know what's you know what's coming and you know which direction to go in and the fact that we have luck is coming so yeah i feel like things are going to take a lucky turn for you which i feel like you need libra because i feel like you've really been going through it okay oh okay sorry i like not the cat as you can see we're not quite over this uh shaky spell yet clearly <laughs> okay so Usually I'd probably roll the dice, but I'm just going to take what we've got. We've got 11 and we've got Aquarius. So I'm just going to shake this one. And we have Venus. Oh my God, of course. Well, your ruling planet is Venus. So I feel like that's going to be very strong for you. Um, the Your Libra energy, I feel like it's going to be shining through. And, you know, the good, the bad and the ugly, <laughs> everything Libra-esque that, <laughs> that represents Libra and what you know is innately you, is, it's just going to be, I feel like, very powerful and intense this month. And we have the number 11, which is the master um, universal number, the magic, magical, magical number. Sorry, I'm so eloquent today. <laughs> 
So, yeah, but I mean, it's a very, very special number. We all know 1111 or just 11, so this can be about coming together. Sometimes I see this as Gemini energy because it's similar to the Gemini symbol. So, you know, the two counterparts as well. So this can be kind of twin flames, but also flipping each side of the coin, um, flip-flopping between things because you and Gemini can be quite similar in that way. And then we have Aquarius, which again is more air. So this is so much air coming through here. So, but I do feel like this is going to relate to you, your emotional detachment from things. So I feel like you're going to be removing your emotions from this situation. And that's actually going to really help you to be able to see things more clearly. Because even though you've been so up in your head, a lot of the thoughts in your mind have been are stemming from emotional issues. And it might be emotional repression, things that you've been pushing down. Um, that are manifesting through the thoughts in your mind. So I feel like... That is something that you do need to be aware of and make sure that you do ground yourself because, again, you're very, very airy, but, you know, that is you. And maybe you have a lot of strong air placements. The particular people that have been drawn to watch this today, I feel like, yeah, there's a lot of strong air coming through here. And we do have some fire here too, but just remember to come back down to earth, okay? Just take some moments to pause and try to be okay in the moment. Be grateful. And yeah, I'm excited to see what comes through for you in November, Libra. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope this did resonate for you. And if it did, please leave a comment down below and give the video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. So have a lovely rest of your day, Libra. Take care.